one crazed mass murder defines the American people? It seems like the left and Obama define America and Americans by the worst people in the country. This is how they view us. Think of all the people right now who are trying to comfort, even though it's impossible, these families. Think of all the people in law enforcement who acted as quickly as they possibly could, all races, to do the right thing. We are a moral people. We are a good people. We're religious people for the most part. But this is just not the way Obama sees things. In common with Nadine Collier, the daughter of the victim, Ethel Lance. Barack Obama's father was not an African-American. He was an African. He has so little in common with Nadine Collier. And I'm not even talking about skin pigmentation. No. I'm talking about experience. Heart, soul, mind. You just heard Obama. I want you to listen to her again, the daughter of victim Ethel Lance. At a hearing today, her mother was just slaughtered, murdered, and she's talking to the perpetrator. Turn up your volume. It's a little hard to hear. Cut one, go. I just want everybody to know, to you, I forgive you. You took something really precious away from me. I will never talk to her ever again. I will never be able to hold her again. But I forgive you. And have mercy on your soul. You hurt me. You hurt a lot of people. But God forgive you. And I forgive you. You know, folks, I have to say, human being to human being, if I were president, I know that sounds silly, but if I were president, I would have cleaned out my whole schedule. And his schedule is really worthless the next several days. It's very hedonistic. Man rarely goes to church. He has very little in common with this woman. I would have gone there. Not to give a speech about gun control. Not to throw uh, racial uh, uh, fuel on some fire that serves the political interests of the Democrat Party. I would have gone there. I would have met with those families. And I would have spoken for five minutes to the nation. That we, the American people, this is not us. And try and bring the nation together. After what Obama and Holder pulled in Ferguson, Valerie Jarrett and their surrogates pulled in Baltimore, now with the gun control. You know, the inhumanity of the left and the left's agenda knows no limits. You know, Mr. President, listening to you and listening to this lady, it really brings it to the fore. It really crystallizes it. You have no class whatsoever. I'm sorry, it's true. None. Putting down the American people as if we're all criminals, putting down the American people as if we're all responsible for slavery, you don't know anything better, do you, Mr. Obama? You really don't know how to bring people together, do you? You really don't know how to love the American people or love your country, do you? Oh, a few lines from speechwriters, they stick them in there, and then you have your Praetorian Guard media that objects any time anybody questions you. The fact of the matter is, you demonstrate this every day. And when there are true horrors that occur in this country, you really demonstrate it. You show no class. You show no respect whatsoever. The American people are better than you. Better than you. Better than any politician in this country. The problem is, you can't rise up to our level. You're stuck. You're stuck as a street organizer. That's your problem.